Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of While They Play Designs and on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a one over two RC. And if you take a look at my swatch here, a one over two RC is a right leaning cable where the third stitch of these three stitches crosses over the front to the right over the first two stitches. So I'm gonna show you how to do that cable with a cable needle I, I have a DPN here um, instead that's the same size as my working needles. And I'm also going to show you how to do it without a cable needle. It makes it go a lot quicker. So the first thing we're going to do is locate where we're placing our cable. And if you take a look here, I have these three stitches that I'm going to be cabling. And when you're using your cable needle, we're gonna be crossing the, the third of these three stitches over the front of the first two stitches. And in order to do that, we wanna put these first two stitches on our working needle to the back of our work. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our cable needle and slip purlwise those two stitches onto our cable needle, like so. And we're gonna hold that to the back of our work and then we're gonna pick up our working yarn, making sure not to work, you can see it's a little tricky here, not to work around our cable needle. We just simply want our cable needle dangling at the back of our work, like so. And now we're going to knit the third stitch of those three stitches, which is the first stitch on our left-hand needle. So I'm gonna knit that stitch it's now on my right hand needle. And now we can simply pick up our cable needle and knit off of it or place those cable needle stitches, slipping them purl wise back onto our left hand needle, like so. And then put your working yarn to the back again. And then we'll knit those two stitches that we had resting on the cable needle. So now we've finished our one over two RC. As you can see here, those are our three stitches of our cable. So it looks like that third stitch crosses over the front of the first two stitches. But I wanna show you a way of doing this without the cable needle. It goes by a lot quicker, especially when you're doing a pattern, like you can see in this swatch, where you're doing a right leaning cable every other cable in your pattern. So the way we're gonna do this, if you recall, I said we were gonna be taking that third stitch and crossing it over the front of the first two. So we're just gonna go ahead and use our right hand needle, the tip of it, to grab the front leg of that third stitch. We're not going through the actual stitch, we're just going in purl wise through the front leg, like so. And once you have that situated on your right hand needle, we're gonna grab these two that we normally would slip onto our cable needle and hold to the back, but we're just gonna grab them carefully, pinch them together, and then we're gonna pull out our left hand needle quickly and come back around and pick them up again, just like so. And then you're gonna rotate your work and place the first stitch that you grabbed with your right hand needle and pop it back onto the end of our left hand needle and pull out our needle. So if you take a look here, we've created that knit stitch that's crossing over the front of the first two stitches. And now that we have those reorganized on our left hand needle, we can just simply knit them. So one, two, three, and then I'll let you, let you take a look here. We have the exact same cable as we did with the cable needle. We just did it without using the cable needle. And I'm gonna show that to you guys one more time. So instead of slipping these first two stitches to a cable needle and holding them back, we'll go in purl wise to that front leg of the third stitch, secure it. We're gonna grab these two and when we pull out this left hand needle from these two stitches, we're gonna swing back around and grab them. 
We're going to pull out, swing around, and pick those two stitches up. And then swing back around and put this first stitch that we slipped back on the left hand needle, purlwise. So we've made our right cross, and now we knit those stitches. And once you try this a couple times, you'll start to get the hang of it. But if you take a look here, we've created that 1 over 2 RC three times, and there's absolutely no difference in how the stitches look when you don't use your cable needle. This is just a simpler way of doing that. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.